You'd mentioned something about the, the cost and how people freak out. Sometimes that might be a tactic to try to get the same thing for a cheaper price. So how do you deal with it if it's just a bargaining tactic? Look, ultimately, they can see the value and they're going to go, well, you know, I I'm, I'm just want to make sure I can get the best deal possible. You can say, well, hang on, I'm a little bit confused. I said on the phone call that I'm value driven, not price driven, but now you're trying to drill me down on price, so I'm actually losing money. I must be missing something. W what is it? Oh, cabal. So look, I'm, I'm happy to ensure that you get value for money, but I don't, I don't negotiate on my rate. My rate is what it is. Yeah, sure. I don't discount, but I promise I'll add value. Okay. Try to do that without sounding arrogant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. And you know, depending on the person, maybe sound arrogant. Okay. Arrogance can be a tool that isn't necessarily attached to your ego. Does this make sense? Yeah. You can use arrogance as a positioning tool. And again, sometimes I sound arrogant. I know I'm like, I don't know that, but I'm sure that it's gotta be times I sound arrogant. And I never intended to be arrogant, but maybe it came across that way because I was trying to get an outcome. Well, there's a difference between confidence and arrogance too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And intent counts more than technique. And if my intent is to get an outcome, you know, and I'm not driving just to feel validated. Well, that helps the whole intent thing because that's, you know, that's the whole point of engaging. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, all right, appreciate that. No worries.